Hey what's up Hustleneers, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we'll be looking at setting up a Mycelium HD Bitcoin wallet. Stay tuned. So whether you're new to Bitcoin or just looking for alternative wallet options, Mycelium is one of the best options that I would personally recommend. Also take note, this is not a sponsored video. I do not receive any compensation from Mycelium. This is purely because of my experience and how satisfied I was with my experience with Mycelium that I chose to do this wallet. So today we'll be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial um, and setting up the Mycelium Bitcoin wallet. Down in the description below, you can also read the step-by-step -step, um, article that I wrote on Mycelium Bitcoin wallet. And right, let's get into it. So first, you're going to have to head over to your Play Store or uh, iTunes, whichever device you are using. You're going to search for Mycelium and you're going to click on download. Once you've downloaded the app, you will see it appear on your phone you can just click on it open it and it's going to ask you if you either want to re restore a uh, mycelium bitcoin wallet or if you want to create a new one we're going to select create new while well, that's loading preparing wallet also take note that when you set up a bit uh, a mycelium bitcoin wallet for the first time uh, it's very important to back up your uh, private client seed which consists of 12 words this will be helpful in future when you want to restore your wallet so best bet is you will have to take a pen and paper write it down and then store it in a very safe place somewhere that you can access it uh, if the need should arise losing these uh, seed phrases could cost you losing all your funds in the wallet so we're gonna just a quick disclaimer no backup no coins in order not to lose your coins when your smartphone is lost or broken please make a wallet backup now and keep it in a safe place this is very very important I cannot stress the importance of this more than I already have so we're just going to understand the risk and then back up now so for security purposes it's not going to record the screen with the key phrases uh, what i will do though is i will fast forward this piece as soon as i start but i'll just walk you through um, the mere basics they're going to give you 12 phrases you're going to write them down those 12 phrases you'll have to confirm once confirmed they will prompt you to create a password which you'll be using to send uh, funds with from your wallet so let's get into that okay it's going to ask you to show the first word you'll write it down second word write it down third word write it down fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth almost there eleventh and twelfth right once you've um, wrote uh, written down all your um, phrases it's going to ask you to start a verification process you'll select verification and then they're going to ask you to start entering the phrases from 1 to 12 I'm going to fast forward this section feel free to pause the video stop the video 
if you need a bit more time to complete. Okay, so once you've set up um, or verified your master seed, it will then ask you uh, or confirm that the verification was successful and then you will be prompted to set up a pin. So we're going to set up a pin just for instructional purposes. And then we are going to confirm the same pin and it will redirect you back to the home screen where you'll be able to access your wallet features, your funds and um, all the extras that we'll be getting into soon. So if you like this video so far, do give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell notification for future post notifications and let's continue with the video. Okay, right. So this is a basic layout. You're going to have to the right here, you'll have a QR code, which people will be able to scan to send you money. You have a button in the middle, which you can scan a wallet address to send money as well. Then to send, let's start with the send. Uh, to send money, you will select send. You can either scan a QR code, enter um, one of the addresses that you've saved. You can paste it from the clipboard or you can manually enter it. Then here we'll be able to put in a custom amount, for instance. Let's say max. Okay, there's no funds. And then also before we click send, it gives you two options, three options, um, a priority send, a normal send and the economical send. So these are priced differently depending on the need and how fast you need the funds to be sent. You will select one and then select send. As far as for the receive, we'll select receive. Same thing displays a QR code, which some, someone can just scan and send you bitcoins. Alternatively, you can share your address, you can copy and paste it, and you can also manually enter a, a Bitcoin amount that you'd like to receive. Right, so that's pretty much it, straightforward for the send and receive. And then at the top here, we have media flow, accounts, balances, transactions, crypto betting, business, FIO requests and address book which you can access and then we also have a range of third party apps here at the bottom that you can use with Mycelium either to buy crypto, buy gift cards, buy and sell Bitcoin. You can shift any coins to Bitcoin. Yeah, so you have a variety of options to use. I'm not going to get into these in detail. If you'd like me to create a video um, with a bit more detail, be sure to leave me a comment below asking me to explore a specific feature if there's a specific one that you'd like me to explore. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next week with the next video.